what's up it's me destiny here and i'm coming to you with my favorite concealers of 2015. Now, i don't have a stink number but i did try to only select the concealers that i've been reaching for non-stop concealers i love know the name of the color off the top of my head and would repurchase so i've been using a lot of concealers you'll see me use a billion but these are the creme de la creme and i'm going to go ahead and start out with nars radiant creamy concealer <laughs> Um, these have been huge all over YouTube. Everybody loves the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealers. As far as I'm concerned, I've only seen good reviews. I'm color Caramel in Amand or Amande. I've seen it pronounced both ways and I've gotten corrected no matter how I pronounce it. So there, and I'll have the colors listed below and on the screen as well. I love these because they're creamy and they're radiant. I feel like they last a long time, but I hear a lot of people say they crease. They are a little creamy, so I would go for less. If you do need a lot of concealer or you like to wear a lot of concealer, I don't know how these are going to go for you. Now, I do get heavy-handed, but I also set well, and then the, found the concealer, not concealer, the moisturizer or primer I tend to use will always be matte. So I generally have a good time with these, and using them with a sponge, I feel like, works really well or a fluffy brush absolutely love them love the color range and the pigmentation on them as well next up i definitely have to show you the tarte maracuja creaseless concealer this thing is extremely pigmented like it is so pigmented it wears really really well i wish it was a tad bit warmer than or i had a warmer color then i'd be like stupid stupid like over the moon even though i already pretty much am and i've used this a lot i add it to things to make other things more pigmented i it works really really great by itself it's really thick and it's super pigmented i'm a big fan of that if you need high coverage i would definitely recommend that concealer as well as their foundation if you can find a shade that matches you is really really pigmented. I have a uh, foundation of theirs that I use as a concealer, in fact. Next up, I have to show my Lancome Maki Complete in Deep Suede. I absolutely love this foundation. This foundation, I want to call it a foundation. This concealer, especially for around the mouth and then on the cheek blemishes because of the tone, it does have a, in, a bit of a coolness to it, so it does help with blemishes that are lacking pigmentation that have gone blue or gray so that's why i like to use it around the mouth and on the cheek blemishes it works really really well great consistency dries really really well i mean it's lancome so you know it's gonna be quality and i have another lancome foundation or am i gonna do this the whole video it's concealer um this lancome concealer is long wearing and i same problem not problem but I wish I had a warmer color um, because it's long wearing, it's waterproof, it's under eye, but I tend to like to be a tiny bit warmer than this is under eye. So I use this around my face and I use it under eye sometimes, but if I use it, then I'll want to use like a really warm powder or something a little bit warmer on top of it layering. I definitely had to throw in the LA Color Pro Conceal in there because these are actually really, really great concealers. I love the packaging that it comes in a little brush. You can apply it and affix it with the same product, so I really like that. I love the fact that they have color correctors and deep, deep tones for contour. I think we can all say that LA, <laughs> LA Girl did it this year um, with this concealer in many tones. I think everybody has done a review or a tutorial for how to use these. I'll have mine linked below. <laughs> I definitely also had to throw in some BH Cosmetics because I'm a huge fan of BH Cosmetics and I really like this concealer. I didn't use it very much in videos, but I'm always reaching for it when I'm here and I'm gonna run somewhere really quick because it has every tone that I need can be used as concealer, contour colors, color correction. It's very much like the NYX or the MAC palette as far as color goes. I'm not comparing it in quality, I'm just saying as far as what's available in the palette. And it's really useful. It really came in handy this year. Okay, guys, so that was it for my 2015 favorite concealers. I'm sure there are more. I'm sure, like, as soon as I turn the camera, I'm sliding in my chair. <laughs> I'm sure as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to see other concealers that I use a lot and I'm going to be worried. But other than that, those are my favorites. Go ahead and list your favorites below. 
you have any questions or comments, then you can leave them in the comment area. As always, guys, I want you to go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't, and subscribe if you're not already. As always, I want to thank you guys for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.